<laughs> it's similar to our weather we're having right now. Yes. Cold and dry. Yeah. It is very cold. I mean, how cold was it last night for you guys? Was well, I certainly turned cold. the heat on. Yeah, exactly. He slept too. with Albert and, and I. And Palace, yeah, the other one. <laughs> and I turned the heat. Kind of wedged in there. <laughs> Albert the dog. Right. Palace and dog. Yeah. <laughs> they do generate I was heat. It's say, nice. I, I, my husband was home at the time, so we, we were. <laughs> well, you guys were fine. But certainly turned on the heat. I know. I was definitely putting the heat on this morning <laughs> when I woke up because uh, I was very cold. I know folks all across the Southland were freezing this morning and freeze warnings in effect for parts of the Southland again tonight. What a beautiful shot. Thank you, Sky 2, downtown LA, looking fabulous on a Thursday evening, almost Friday, folks. And uh, we've got some nice weather as we head into the weekend. It's going to get a little bit warmer. So, uh, folks, say it's too hot. Now it's too cold. We'll be just right by the weekend. Freeze warning in effect for tomorrow morning. And this will be for the Antelope Valley once again. Temperatures between uh, 27 to 32 degrees for a matter of a couple hours. But between about 1 to 7 a.m., in the Apple Lucerne Valleys, temperatures will be into the low 30s, so there is a frost advisory in effect there. Now, temperatures today, although it was a cold start to the day, uh, we were still running below average. Yesterday, downtown, we had a high of uh, 69, so we were a couple degrees warmer today with a high of 71. We should be at 75. We'll be closer to that tomorrow. Looking at our current temperatures, it is cooling down now from Valencia to Lancaster into the 50s, low 60s from Van Nuys to Pasadena, 65 in Anaheim, 62. Riverside 59 now in San Bernardino as you head up to Oxnard temperatures into the low 60s but the reason we do have some warmer weather headed our way the winds are going to start to shift we're actually going to have a northeasterly wind over the next couple of days so right now winds are coming in out of the west southwest a little bit gusty especially if you're along the coast Santa Monica gusts up to around 16 miles an hour we have had mostly clear skies we will see a few clouds move in uh, to the area tonight but this is generally what's going to happen for tomorrow. We're going to shift to an offshore flow and that will bring some milder weather in place. But with the radiational cooling, that's why it's getting so cold at night, cold and dry, especially in those wind protected areas. And those are the areas that we're dealing with the freeze warnings and frost advisories. So we do have a storm system. I think it's going to track a little bit to our north next week. So we were talking about uh, mostly cloudy skies and some drizzle. But I think that's about all we are going to get from that low, and that should be at the beginning of next week. But a little ridge of high pressure bumping on in, and that's what's going to bring us some warmer weather over the next few days. Not so warm tonight, mostly clear, breezy and cool. But notice again, the winds are shifting in offshore flow, and that offshore flow is what warms us up. So your extended seven-day forecast, oh, it's going to be fabulous this weekend. Cool nights, nice warm days, 70s, low 80s, uh, and sunny skies, just beautiful weather, trough of low pressure bringing us maybe a couple of light sprinkles Monday morning. Then that's it. Fall like weather next week. All right. Like we can, that. Yes. yes. We're on a good stretch. That's right. Indeed. All right, Jackie.